Hi, this is Ginger from My Sister Scrapper. Today I want to share some projects with you that I will be teaching at Simple Pleasure Scrapbooking in Colorado Springs. I'm super excited about going there. I've never been to that store, so I'm really excited to see all of my Midwest Colorado fans. So hopefully you guys will be able to sign up and I'm going to just do a quick walkthrough um, of the projects that I'll be teaching. They are all Graphic 45 projects. I do have three of the samples. The other sample is using the brand new Joy to the World collection, which is their Christmas collection this year, and it hasn't shipped yet. So um, I can't show you that one. But anyway, I will put a link to the store so you guys can call the store and sign up. There is limited seating, I'm going to tell you that, but she will have all the details at the store. So the first one I'm going to share with you is using the brand new Graphic 45 Lost in Paradise. Um, Wow, I mean this collection is stunning, stunning, stunning. So this is going to be a folio class and it measures eight and a half by ten and a half, eight and a half by ten and a half when folded, closed. Um, so on the front cover we've got some of the design paper here, here, and here, and here, and then this is a magnet closure. This is mounted on some chipboard. We've got two spines because it is a gate fold and then here is the gorgeous flamingo paper on the back which I think this might be my favorite piece of paper in the whole entire collection but it's all beautiful oh my gosh uh, it says life is beautiful and then again a magnet closure you open it up and we have this lovely spread right here so these two are sort of mirror images um, so I'll walk you through this side and then we'll go over here so over here I've added some design paper here with um, which is the reverse side of the flamingo paper on the back just to cover up the magnets and I did uh, Use black just to make the colors pop. So we have a little ATC tag right here And then there's some uh, ivory paper on the back for journaling You can put a small little photo here and this little tag holds this flap closed So you open it up There's a place for a photo or journaling and then we have the beautiful bird of paradise paper here And then some more design paper and you this is a pullout for a Faber 6 photo and they're blank on the back. So you can journal here and put your photo back here. Um, I did use some of the patterns in solids, not too many. Um, mostly the 12 by 12 and the sticker sheet and the graphic 45 tag. So that goes back in here. And then on the other side, again, we have the same spread. It's a small little pocket with an ATC, a little stamp. Or no, this is a sticker right here. And then this pulls out, holds this gorgeous flamingo uh, card closed. And again, we have some more journal paper here, and then the beautiful Bird of Paradise, and then this is the pullout for this with another gorgeous stamp. If you haven't seen this collection, wow, it's amazing, absolutely amazing. <laughs> so that closes that up right here. And then in the center spread, we have a cute border sticker right here, some more of the patterns and solids, some more pockets here, a couple more little stickers, and then we have two of the regular ATC tags that are holding the large center flap down. And again, they're kind of the same. There's ivory paper on the back. And again, we have some of the little cute little cut apart stamps right here and some more of the design paper. I added some fabulous burlap um, trim here with some little black jute string around the tops. So then there is a pocket here. I love it, paradise is not a place, it's a state of mind. And inside this pocket we have some fold outs, again some more of the design paper and I double matted these and then there's spaces for photos inside and there's some design paper on the back. I love the gorgeous birds, the foliage, the floral, it's just amazing. Again, so pretty. So then this will flip up like this. I know, right? Eek. And then again, we have <clears throat> another uh, little piece of the design paper here, another cut apart that I mounted and just glued it on two sides. We have two more of the fabulous cut aparts from the paper collection. And this is using the 12 by 12. And then over here, we have another border sticker that I put on some ivory card stuff just to make it stand out against the blue, which is from the patterns and solids. And then we have a fabulous <clears throat> waterfall right here, another cut apart, and then we have uh, ivory paper here. And we do have some little strips of the paper right here. And then we have the pink striped and the yellow and the blue. And then another cut apart that says, Welcome to the Jungle. And then the same color scheme continues. So that closes like that. This folds down. We'll put our 
cutie patooties right back in there and then we will close it I'll hold it closed with the regular size grab 45 tags so then it closes like this and it's a magnet closure so that's one of the projects I'm teaching using lost in paradise so another project I'm teaching is using yep you guessed it kaleidoscope now I love this paper because it's bright it's vibrant it's so different than anything they've ever done it's just lovely so on the front cover we have a cute doily right here this is a bow bunny die that I used some chipboard elements right here and here and here a fussy cut the elephants I added a cute little tiny flower to this baby elephant with a little bling in the middle some of the spine right here and again another chipboard element here and then here is the back with another chipboard element and a space for you to write the date or whatever you want to put in here and again my favorite paper in the whole collection the rainbow elephants so you open it up and I um, <clears throat> this is I'm calling this a mini album folio because it does have two pages but it has some concepts of a folio as well so we have some more uh, chipboard elements here and here and then I added a chipboard here to hold this little flap closed and then there's some design paper on the back this has popped up and I did double mat everything with this collection so it's black but then it's matted with white and then you have your design paper so you do use a lot of adhesive but let me tell you having that white background does make the colors pop on this collection this opens there's a magnet closure this is a little um, accordion pocket and lots of journal cards and cut aparts inside here so and you can store more photos in there so that closes like this and on the first page again some more design paper here each of the pockets will have two fold outs a three and a quarter by four and a quarter for two spots there and then a four by six for two spots there and then you could journal in the back or you could even add a third photo so one two and three if you wanted so you could do three on all of them love the papers so that goes back in there you flip these over and then we have another cut apart with a journal card right here and then um, again space I just left it white because I thought the white really popped it out and then you have large pullouts here you can journal here you could put a photo here and you could also do more journaling or more photos on the back whichever you prefer so those go back in the top like so and then the journal card holds them closed okay and then again over here some more chipboard elements again the gorgeous rainbow elephants so we have two fold outs again four by six photos we can go here here and here and a rainbow possibilities three photos one two and three and these will be three by four photos okay gorgeous and then you flip it over again we have the same thing here a little side pocket with a cut apart to hold this down and again I'm kind of focused on the peacocks over here again the same type of a pullout it's going to have the blue paper here journal and um, photos on the back and these are really large actually so you could get multiple photos so then on the back inside cover I get another chipboard element here this is a belly band with one of the graphic 45 regular tags there's a three by four journal card here and you can journal on the back and then we've got some gingham ribbon here in the front so then there's a magnetic closure here so it opens up you've got a space that you could journal on or add another photo this is actually a belly band so if you wanted to just slide your photo all the way down because you do want to be these are the bigger magnets so you shouldn't have any problems with the magnet going through another photo there so over here we have our three by four waterfall we have a journal card here and then we have again I focused on the peacocks the pinks and the blues and again some more of that cute little check paper there so there we go that goes like this and then this goes in here so that's another project I'm teaching using the gorgeous kaleidoscope collection now we're going to show you the next one and this one is using the bloom collection um, the bloom collection has just been amazing I taught so many classes with that collection it is beautiful so this is one of the using the brand new graphic 45 ATC matchbook box and ATC mini album so what we've got here is we've got the journal card layered on top here of the box we've added some flowers here we've got a graphic 45 key some twine some of the pockets and tags and another one of the pockets and tags here that we just trimmed down this is the side with the cute stamps stamps and then here's the front of the drawer and the back of the drawer and there's a graphic 45 drawer pull 
So this pulls open and then inside we have the cute little Graphic 45 ATC mini album, okay? So here's the front of the book. We added one of the pockets and tags, some more pockets and tags here, another ephemera card. We got some little flat back pearls. This comes out so you can still see the paper. Um, you can tuck this somewhere else, but I thought it was kind of cute to go right in this little front cover. Now, this is different for me because normally I take these puppies off, but you know what? I decided I'm going to leave this one on. Oops, see, that came off. I'll get some more glue on there or ship these off. Um, we added some design paper here. I fussy cut the little bloom sticker and slid it underneath there. And then I added some more paper right here. And then we've got some little pink glittery enamel dots to go over those little brads. And here is the back using the beautiful floral. This collection uses the eight by eight papers and the pockets and tags also. So you open it up. There's four units of groups of pages in here. Over here, we've got a four by six journal card that we're gonna fussy cut down and make it a little tuck spot. So we've got these cute little cut aparts from the eight by eight that are scored and just folded accordion style, just because it's cute. We have another little um, part of a journal card that we trim down and we even put a picture back here in journal here. It says all things grow with love. And again, we did some fussy cutting here, or we're gonna in the class. Over here, we have a little belly band with a little paper clip here holding this little um, envelope right there. And then inside is the cute little enjoy the little things. And these little things are just adorable. I use Walnut Stain as my distress ink on this, which is probably the one I use all the time. But um, you don't have to ink. Inking's an option. So we've got some design paper here. You flip it over, some more design paper here, here, and then the book does come with four APC tags. So we've got some of the cute design paper here, and they're playing on the back. And then I did add to this um, book some side photo mats, three by four. So those go back in here. So they're all gonna be the same. They're gonna have the pink and then the ivory on the back so you can journal and put your photo with a pretty pink background. And then you flip it over again on this pocket. We added one of the pockets and tags. Cute. So pretty. The wineberry, the blues, the pinks, the greens. This collection is stunning. Everybody knows if you haven't seen it. I mean, seriously, it's amazing. Another uh, pocket and tag, a little strip of the tickets. It's a little tuck spot. And then over here we have, this is just popped up on some um, dimensional foam tape just because it's pretty. <laughs> and then over here we have another journal card here that we've used the reverse side so you can journal on right here and then added a fussy cat little stamp. So that was the first set of pages. And then over here we have another tuck spot for you to check a photo if you want. Again, another cute journal card that we've trimmed up. And there's your tag. And then again, all the units will have this. It'll be four of these. And then over here, again, another pocket and tag. So pretty. And again, a journal spot over here. And then over here, what I've done is I made these two little corner tucks right here. And these are some four by six journal cards that are scored and folded in half here and here. So you can put some cute photos here and then you can do some journaling on these cards and then you can just tuck them right back into this little corner here like this. Now this little thing is part of a die from Eileen Hall and it's supposed to be a bookmark, but you know what? I made it a little holder for a little tag. <laughs> so over here again, we've got another uh, four by six card that we've trimmed down and added a little strip of the paper here. Some more design paper here. And here's the, another one of the cute ATC tags, some cute little stamps. And again, they all have this on the side, the units. Again, these are um, some of the journal cards that I flipped over uh, and they're popped up on some foam tape and added some cute little stamps. Over here, again, another little text spot right here. Again, another journal card that we've trimmed down and then we've got another car, uh, ATC tag, some more cute stamps. And here's the card for this one. And you flip it over. Again, we have a cute another little pocket right here. This is another tuck spot. And then you flip it over and the gorgeous floral here. And then on the back, we went ahead and fussy cut the paper here so it 
shows you that all things go with love and he who plants a garden plants happiness. So there you go. That's the super cute little book that I'm going to be teaching using the Graphic 45 Bloom Collection. So you can sign up at the store directly. And again, I'll put a link in the description box. So there you have it, everybody. I really hope you guys um, come see me because it's going to be fun. And this is in August and she'll have all the dates and the times and the information. There you have it. Thanks for watching. Bye.